Hey guys, so I have been toying around with lifts as I mentioned in my last video and I've come up with one working design and a bunch of non-working. Uh, some of the non-working were well, one of the non-working was a cross lift, if any of you know what that is. It's kind of hard for me to explain but I'll show it later. Uh, but I had an issue with um, attachment on one axis at the bottom that made it kind of unstable, so that wasn't very really viable, at least the method I used to making it. So I made this instead. Uh, it takes up a bit more space and doesn't move linearly, but it gets the job done and I think it looks pretty neat. Um, so yeah, let's test it out. Uh, that's not the way to go. Um, set that to... Um, I've got pretty close connection so I don't want it to move too fast, but as you see it moves up nicely. Evenly, no instability except for at the beginning because it was right up against the wall. Uh, what's moving the whole thing are the rotors on the middle, because I didn't want to set up too many, uh, because they require different angles. Actually, I'm not sure now, I think it may be the one on the side, but that does not really matter. Um, and apart from a little bumping, this goes up and fits nice and snug. So... You could use this, uh, for example, to get fighters on and off a uh, carrier deck uh, and down into the hangar. You could of course make it uh, using small blocks instead and take up a lot less space. Um, I'm not sure I answered this in my last video, but the way I make these connections is that I start out by having a rotor with a merge block on each of the two objects I want to connect. Then I make a third object consisting of a rod with a connector on each end and push it in using a ship, the one I got there. And once they are merged it all counts as one object, that means I can make a rod between these two alone and delete the entire original rod, saving that one extra block of space. And that's about it. I really love those merge blocks. If it wasn't for the bump, you would barely... B okay, we're lagging. That's great. But yeah, if it wasn't for those bumps on the plates, you'd barely be able to see that it's two different plates instead of one. So, just gotta get the position. Oh yeah, the, um, the reason for all these... Uh, edges and massive bumping and stuff is because of something that's really annoying me, it is that you cannot uh, fine-tune the angles that your rotors are limited by. For example, if I go to... Let's just take the original one here. It's set to 359 and 369 degrees instead of 360 and uh, 270 degrees because you can't adjust it in that increment of 1, you can only adjust it in increments of 2, which is extremely frustrating. So yeah, that's um, that's a problem. Uh, but that's all, just about all I got for you now. Um, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions either regarding this or uh, space engineers in general, feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll do my best to help. Um, so yeah, see ya.